So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build sides for a utility trailer, such as the one pictured here. Now, you're going to need two 4x8 pieces of pressure-treated plywood, uh, since this is a 4 foot by 8 foot trailer. Uh, you're going to want to cut these pieces of plywood exactly as shown in the picture here, where the blue lines are. Uh, as for the stakes that hold up the sides, you're going to want to measure tw these 27 inches long and cut them accordingly. I've got all my stuff laid out. Um, I have my sides cut. This is my plywood. So I'll, these, are the, these are the two sides there. And uh, then this, these are the these two are the front and the back. And um, I went ahead and uh, these are my two by fours. The stake clamps that came with the trailer were actually um, they weren't exactly uh, two by four friendly. They're just barely they're, the clamps are barely too too small to fit the two by four. So what I did was just. So I just had to sand down each one you know, like nice and evenly on each side when you, when you put it in it's it's more you know it doesn't move around much even though there's there's gonna be a, a, a pin in there a bolt in there it really won't matter that much but these are the stake the new stake clamps that came with the trailer originally when I, I built this thing like four years ago so I'm gonna be um, when putting those in uh, basically it's just bolt on at this point you know I have everything cut cut to size and uh, it's just gonna be taking our hardware and uh, you know bolting everything in this is what the manual tells you how to build it you know with all these individual sides and, and, and stakes but to me this is this is gonna be better uh, I found this guy's this guy's online and he basically uses like I showed you the plywood so you have a nice you have a nice flush flat you know there's no gaps no 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 spaces or anything so it should be pretty nice Stake clamps bolted in. So now I'm just gonna go around and shove these two by fours. It's raining outside and everything. Shit. It's all good though. Dying ain't outside. know about that. One time. Right, so we got all of our stakes, our two by four. On my way. Looking good. gonna be sick. The trickiest part is gonna get is gonna be getting these all to line up because this stuff is curvy man. It's like a little warped but that shouldn't really shouldn't be that bad. Okay so it's been a little while since I last worked on this project but um I have all the the um, the carriage bolts in. Uh, these are all galvanized. It's all galvanized hardware. Um, on all the stakes, uh, I still do have to make the the pins. Everything's there. It's been outside for a little while, so it is a little bowed, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's definitely definitely workable. This this one's not too bad, but you can see it's just. What is what is definitely? I mean, it's pressure treated, but it's still 
definitely bowed. But I have these uh, these corner brackets, and this is really the last last step in getting this thing uh, complete. Like I got these at Tractor Supply. They were like 16 bucks a piece, and these just basically latch on. So so you latch one side on to the other. So that's really I couldn't find these anywhere else. I couldn't find a better price. I looked online. And um, these seem to be the best way to best way to go. So that's really that's basically the last step is getting these these side brackets in. Um, and like I said, these I'm gonna make some custom pins to hold the stakes in. That's where I put my motorcycle chalk. So um, all in all, I mean it's a pretty versatile trailer uh, for what it is. But I got some tail lights I have to pop, put on as well because uh, you know, these are kind of haggard. I get some zip ties on them but that's it right there thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe uh, so you don't miss my next tutorial